A few weeks ago, I showed you guys the 100 yen washi tape supplies I was able to find in dollar stores in Japan and created some fun art pieces with them. But there was actually some washi tape that I didn't show you guys. We've got our cool grays and blue set. I really like this one. It'd be really fun to create a dark themed illustration. This earthy yet cute and colorful pink set with some purple and brown. And then why not? Let's just go crazy with this. This is probably more for bullet journaling, but I thought it would be really fun to create an illustration with all these fun patterns and see what we can come up with. These three sets of washi tapes are so different in both color, saturation, brightness. I'm really excited to see how different each of these illustrations is going to turn out. So let's get to sketching. I just want to focus on maybe making something a little dark, something a little mysterious and see where we go. Um, but we've only got five colors. We can maybe layer some things depending on the transparency of the tape, but let's just start sketching some characters. I think it would be more fun to maybe focus on just really good character design or maybe something like really fun textures when it comes to the washi tape. I played around a lot with layering texture in the last washi tape, so I do want to play around with something like that. So I could probably make her hair textured in in the in the ponytail department. I think that might be really fun. The dark, limited, kind of spooky colors just makes me want to do something a little bit scary. So this idea is simple enough. Let's see if we can come up with a different idea. Let's focus on something like a background. So maybe we have a hill with another mountain in the background. And on the hill we can have like a little campsite. Okay, what if at the campsite we have someone spooked? So we can have their eyes poking out, very scared. So we can either have some sort of spooky monster of what, well, I was like, what is that? Um, but honestly, hold on, maybe we can make up some weird creature. Oh boy, what have we, what is this? Okay. I'm sure I'll end up changing his design quite a bit, but so far I think maybe doing something like a simple background like this would be really fun. I think definitely out of the two, I, I really enjoy the mystery and the simple background and just cute little setting of this one. So I'm probably going to end up going with our camping drawing. This one could be fun to revisit with our more autumny colors. So we'll just see where we go with that. Out of the three color palettes that I work with in today's video, I was so into this one. It's it's just the right amount of colorful, but also it's very gray and dull, which is obviously, if you are not new to my channel, you guys know how much I love earthy, dull, boring colors. And this color palette was just, it was so beautiful. Those greenish grays are just so great. The light one, the dark one, and what I was calling black was actually a very, very dark navy blue. So altogether, this color palette was just amazing and it was just so inspiring to work with. So going into this illustration, if that's what you can call it, is it an illustration if you don't actually illustrate but you're like piecing tape together? Okay, let's not get hung up on details. This illustration, I'm going to call it. I think it might just be the color palette because honestly, the illustration itself is kind of boring and there are a few things that I'm not super happy with. But when I look at those colors, I just get so happy that I, I just don't even care. So going into this piece, I started off by putting down our campsite. That was definitely the focus of this illustration. We weren't going to have a character per se as like our main character of this illustration, but I definitely wanted to focus on telling a story with the background of this piece and just putting together context clues of what was happening and especially our little monster in the background which like I said ended up changing quite a bit. The tint was definitely easy to make and using the trick of layering tape is so great. Oh my goodness. Can you believe we only have one blue tape in this set but it looks like I have a light blue and a dark blue? 
I just, that's something I love about washi tape and I think washi tape might be maybe my third favorite medium to work with right now. It's just so much fun to layer and you don't always know what you're going to get out of the medium. So like I said, we had one light blue tape and I layered it to create that much darker tape the second time around. It only took one layer to create that very, very dark blue color. So that definitely helped when it came to creating a 3D look to our tint. And I know that layering washi tape and playing with the transparency is one of the main things I love about this medium, but this wasn't an illustration that I really wanted to work abstractly and I just really wanted to focus on creating a an illustration that was just that and not super crazy transparent. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, I definitely did a lot of cutting around and working around to make sure that we didn't have any transparencies, but when it came to the trees, I did want that transparent look because I just really liked the idea of that maybe trees have a somewhat transparent look to them because they do have branches and leaves where you can usually look through them. So I thought that would be really interesting to have the trees transparent, which I definitely think really worked with this piece. And, and then we came to our big monster in the background, which like I said, definitely changed a lot. We did have this weird looking thing before, but you know, I just couldn't resist turning it into a giant weird looking cat. And I just love the way he turned out. His face is just so silly. And once I had all of the base of this illustration down, I wanted to add just a little cluster of details at the bottom. So I added more grass, some little berries. I just love our campfire with the smoke coming up and put some little flowers in. And that was that. I did think it would be really interesting to put a lot of little details into a cluster at the bottom of this illustration, whereas the rest upper and mid area of this piece was a lot more simple and had more plain, bigger areas of color and shape focused. That wasn't a sentence. My one concern about this illustration is that the mountain on the right looks like a tree, but you know, if that's the worst that this illustration has, I am very happy with it, especially the color palette is so great. I, I just love it so much. tapes could be really good for maybe like a portrait for somebody or honestly they could be good for a very autumn-y colored background or something so if I did want to do something like a portrait it actually might be kind of fun to do like an abstract nude art piece because washi tape is really fun to play around with shape and it's not the most um what is it accurate or detail oriented art making material two circles what are these two circles representing i don't know it's abstract art who who knows what what's going on here okay let's just continue i kind of like that i think this would be really fun to play around with though since they are such autumny colors maybe we should try to create a piece maybe a little more inspired by autumn we're gonna have a tree stump because we do have the dark brown that could be the trunk, the tree trunk bark stuff. All right, so we've got our ghost. Maybe he's, what's he doing? What's he up to? What is that gosh darned ghost up to? He's on a stump. You know what? Maybe this ghost sees another ghost and that ghost is really shy. So maybe, we can also put some bushes back there and then we can have an autumny color sky. Okay, I kind of like this one. I think our abstract person was really fun, but I really want to play around with the texture of the tree and just see where this one goes. All right, so looking 
back at the palette and the sketches that I did, I decided that I actually really liked the idea of creating a human character with this color palette. It was just, it was just too perfect to pass up and I was already leaning towards making landscapes and backgrounds for our other two illustrations. So I knew that to create three forest based illustrations was just going to be ridiculous. So I went backwards, completely scrapped the two sketches I just did for this color palette and I went back and we are now doing the girl with the ghost illustration, which honestly, I absolutely love the way this illustration turned out. So I have no regrets. I'm sure the ghost in a forest and our abstract nude illustration will be really fun to revisit maybe later on. But for now, we're doing the girl with the ghost. So like I said, this palette was just absolutely perfect for a human character. And I just, I couldn't resist. I just really wanted to shade with that purple and use the pink for the cheeks. It was too perfect. I had to do it. So obviously keeping this portrait of a person and a ghost very simple because washi tape is not the easiest to get a lot of detail into unless you have a lot of patience, which I do not have. So starting off with our human head was very simple. Thankfully my style is very simple. So we have these really exaggerated shapes and simple details that is just really perfect I think for washi tape. So I had a lot of fun with this one because I don't think I've ever done a human character with washi tape. So I was pretty excited. Starting off with the base of our head, adding the details like her eyes and her mouth was really fun, especially using the paper for the white of her eyes and teeth and then using the brown especially for her eyes and details like the lines in her teeth because normally I would use a black pen which is like fine but using something like this mid-tone brown for I guess quote-unquote line art in an illustration just adds so much softness and color to it. I keep telling myself over and over to use colored line art because it adds such a soft color colorful, nice feel to an illustration, but I don't do it and I get all excited when I do. So that was really fun. Speaking of fun, oh my goodness, layering her hair was probably the most fun yet the most tedious part of any of these illustrations. Definitely absolutely worth it. It created such texture in her hair, just creating a wavy pattern on the top, keeping the bottom flat and layering these pieces over and over. Her hair has so much texture and it looks like a poofy ponytail and I just think it turned out so, so well. Speaking of something going so well, layering that purple over her skin tone was almost exactly the way I layer shading for Carrie characters with watercolor, which is super weird. It just looked so, so good. And it also looked good when I had the pink layered over her skin tone. These colors, this color palette, another amazing color palette, you guys. I just enjoyed really working with it. I just think it's so much fun to look at a set of colors and take inspiration for an illustration. It almost just seems so weird to me, even as an artist. But let's talk about my favorite part of this illustration, which was the ghost. The layering effect that I got with the ghost was just so pleasing. So what I did was I put one single layer of pink for the background, but for her shirt where the ghost was going to overlap, I put down two layers of purple so that I could cut away one layer of purple and create this really interesting light colored layer for the ghost that makes it look like the ghost is overlapping her and oh my gosh, this effect turned out so perfectly. I am so happy with how this turned out. But then I just kind of felt like the right side was feeling a little empty, so I added an additional pink ghost to the side. And that is it for our human portrait using washi tape. I just, I love the color palette. I think this is very cute and very fun. And there it is. So I'm actually quite nervous about using these washi tape. They're very thin, so that means I'm going to have to layer them a lot more. There's also just a lot more texture happening. We only have one solid color and that is the orange here. So 
you know, let's just let's see what happens. So let's just start off with a circle because that seems to be the theme of this video. I don't know why I'm thinking about trees again. What if we use that thin orange one to create the tree bits? <laughs> Am I going to do another ghost? Who knows? Okay, so this one looks like it could be really fun to play around with the textures of the trees and layering. The limited color palette is going to be quite a struggle with this one because the trees are going to be green and there's only so much else we can work with. So let's put that idea to the side and try something else. Okay, you know, we gotta get our circle. What if we just really focused on putting a lot of detail into texturizing the tree with the washi tape and we just made this a super elaborate tree and then maybe we just had a couple of lame trees on either side of it would that be cool <laughs> i say questioning everything i've ever done half of them are green so i think it'd be really cool to focus on making this really cool textured tree this one is a very similar idea anyway so Maybe we could put some sort of, I don't know, monster, but just standing. What's he up to? I don't know, he's waving. We'll see, we'll see. But so far, I think I just really wanna play around with all of the layers that we can get on a tree. So let's, let's do this one. So here we are, our final color washi tape set. And this one was honestly the hardest to work with. Not only was it the most annoying to layer because the washi tape was so thin, so I had to put more tape down, but the colors green and orange were just a little difficult to work with. They were really borderline Christmas colors. Green and orange is very similar to green and red. So that was definitely something I was trying to avoid, but because I went in a forest evergreen cedar tree sort of direction, this illustration definitely is very much borderline the holidays, so I do apologize for that because ugh, I hate creating holiday sort of inspired illustrations so far away from December, but here we are. So going into this piece, I didn't sketch anything because I felt like creating a forest was going to be very easy and I didn't need a sketch and I just didn't want to have to work around trying to hide the pencil marks and trying to create as little pencil marks under the tape as possible. So I just jumped right into it. Starting off with our sky, I wanted to have this really interesting dark orange to light orange gradient which I, I don't know if it really came through much but it still looks fine it's okay so then I moved on to our grass and I used the same technique that I used for the girl's hair as well as the carpet in my previous washi tape video it works so well for grass and carpet and any sort of flooring that you want to add texture just create little waves in the washi tape and layer them I also sprinkled in some snow layers using the white washi tape because I wanted to suggest this illustration is sort of based on spring so currently well I guess currently we're moving from spring to summer if you're in the northern hemisphere but I did want to create an illustration that was sort of a transition between winter and spring so I created the grass layers and tried to mix in some snow layers they're very hard to see because the tape is so transparent but they're there and then we moved on to creating our tree. So to make sure that I stayed in the shape of the tree that I wanted, I made this overlay of paper and then I tried to mark the layers that I wanted for the tree. And I originally had five, but then I decided that four was going to be enough. So I basically just took the washi tape, rounded off the ends and layered them to look like a cedar tree. And I think it turned out really cute. I'm just not really sure that what I was going for 100% came through. I wanted to make it look like the tree had snow on it and it was melting. So a couple of the layers of the tree have snow layered on, which is okay looking. I just think maybe I would have liked the illustration more if I just had the green of the tree. But hey, you know, you, you try things and you see what you like. 
I think the main thing I did want to focus on was texture. With all of these illustrations, there's a lot of texture happening in each illustration, and I really wanted to focus on that with the tree. Unfortunately, the snow on the tree really got rid of the texture, and it is really hard for you to see as I'm working on it from above, but all of the little branches of the tree coming off, especially when using cheap 100 yen washi tape, the tape does not stay down and it starts to curl up. So you get this really cute texture of the tree where all the little needles are curling up and I just thought that was really cute. But anyway, layering the tree went easy enough, but then I just thought the illustration was still kind of boring, so I wanted to add a little bit something extra. So after fluffing up the needles, I started to add little flowers by cutting out pieces of the green. So I created leaves, stems, and flowers by just cutting out squares and layering them. And I just thought, we need more details. I used the gold dots of the light green washi tape as eyeballs for a dragonfly and created a dragonfly by layering orange wings. And I just thought they turned out really fun and colorful and just added a little bit extra detail to this illustration but I wanted even more detail. So I created a cat in this forest that was watching the dragonflies and I wanted more. So I added a tree stump and I think the tree stump and the cat are just the extra little push to this illustration and even the dragonflies. I think the dragonflies turned out so fun. Just something to break that circular border, something to add extra little details and extra little characters and items around in this setting and that is is that for this illustration. I think it was a very hard color palette, especially all of the textures and patterns to work around. It was a little difficult, but in the end, I think the result's really fun, simple, and cute. limited color palette washi tape challenge or just fun art creating video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am super obsessed with washi tape. This is definitely not the last washi tape video you will see from me. Until next time, stay safe, stay golden. But really quick, a huge thank you to my patrons for all the support. You guys are seriously the best. If you want coloring pages, early access, or podcasts from me, check out the link to my Patreon in the description. Thank you guys all seriously so much for the support. Bye.